The history of the United States of America has been the history of racism and race. And until the country comes to grips with that, it is not going to realize its full potential. But it has become, it's gotten to a moment where it's going to fail as a nation. This will be a failed nation if it doesn't overcome the legacy of racism. And let me tell you why. We are becoming rapidly a nation in which the majority will be people of color. Since the summer of 2012, the majority of all babies born in this country have been of color. Now the majority of all those under five, by the end of this decade, by the end of 2019, the majority of all children under 18, and by 2030, the majority of the young workforce. We have become a nation in which the fate of the nation is dependent on those people who have been marginalized and discriminated against. The fate of the nation is dependent on what happens to people of color. If people of color don't become the middle class, there'll be no middle class. Therefore, while we have failed to live up to our moral obligation as a nation to do right by others, we have moved beyond morality and it's become an economic, a democratic, and a national imperative. Now, I hope that people will hear that message because we're going to become a nation majority of people of color, whether people deny it or not whether they hear it or not, that's what we're going to be. And I think that this moment that we're in right now, awful as it feels in terms of pitting one group against another, lifting the voices of hate right up into our living rooms and to the top of the agenda, I think this is the last gasp. And while that last gasp can be shrill and dangerous and even long. It is the last. We are moving to a different place. And I'm hoping that because we have had the contradictions sharpened so much because of this last election, that people will find each other and find what they have in common. I'm starting to speak at rural summits now and to talk to people in rural communities. It has always been a part of my, uh, my talk because I know that the issues in rural communities in many ways are the same as inner city communities, nuanced differently. And you've got to pay attention to that nuance. But the issues of transportation and broadband and access to healthy food and access to jobs that pay living wages, these are fundamentally the same issues. We have to find the language to talk about equity and inclusion. We have to paint a picture for people that is not frightening, but one in which everybody will have a place and be respected. And we have to understand that, just as I've said, we're not going to get on the other side of race until we go through race. We're not going to get on the other side of this ugliness that we're in right now until we go through it and we got to go right through it and we've got to be strong we have to be positive we have to grab the people who want what we want along the way come out with more people than we went in with but it will be okay but we've got to fight to make it okay yeah.